Welcome. In a previous video, I took a quick look at an HDMI to USB adapter, and I'll put a link in the description to that video, and I'll also put a link to the product on eBay, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. In this video, I'm going to be comparing that to an HD game capture, so it's an Elgato HD game capture, HD60 I think is the model I have. I don't know if they make that one anymore, but they have very similar models, and I'm doing this on a Mac, so this may work different on Linux and Windows. So what I did is I went on a little drive the other day with my GoPro. I set it up kind of like a dash cam, and I recorded the video. And that is this file here. So I'll open that up. And here I'm driving. This is a 1080p video. It's 60 frames per second. And actually, I have the stats right here for all of these. Hopefully, this shows up well. I don't know. I can enlarge it a little bit. There we go. So this GoPro PR7867 is the file I took off of the GoPro micro SD card. But the GoPro has an HDMI out port on it. So I connected that HDMI out into the Game Capture HD and then into my HDMI to USB adapter. And I recorded the video off that output. So these are the resultant files here. So the Game Capture one is 2.2 gigabytes and the original GoPro file is 2.37 gigabytes. The HDMI to USB file is 6.55 gigabytes. And we'll look down here why. So the GoPro and HD Game Capture are both H.264 encoded, and then the HDMI to USB adapter is ProRes. And then if we move forward here, we see they're all running at 1080p, and this is the bitrate. So the GoPro and the Game Capture are actually very similar on their bitrate. So they're about 44k, and the HDMI to USB adapter is 118k. And next we have something that's a big difference. So the GoPro and the Game Capture both are at 59.94, and then the HDMI to USB is at 25 frames per second. And I forgot to mention, I recorded the HDMI to USB through QuickTime. So I went up to QuickTime and I said capture movie and I recorded it that way and there's no way to change the settings on there. There may be other software that can give better results. So another thing to point out is that the audio didn't come through on this HDMI to USB adapter and I think it may be a compatibility problem with the GoPro how it outputs the audio on HDMI because I've connected other HDMI things to this adapter and the audio did work. So there's no audio on this. But I'm just making this video as an example. So if you're recording like a, a game console or something, hopefully the audio will come through on there. So I loaded these all into Final Cut Pro and I kind of worked on a little video here. And I was going to do a voiceover on this video, but it's kind of hard to uh, show the things I wanted to show. So I will make this full screen here. And I'll start at the beginning. So I have three videos on here. I have the GoPro, HD Game Capture, and the HDMI to USB. And I tried to line them all up. So I'll go frame by frame here. And you can see this uh, West 235 sign. I'll go right here. You can see the bottom one, it's touching the side of the screen. And the top are nearly in line with each other. So they're very, very close to each other. If I go back a frame, well, that's one frame, go back two frames. And the bottom actually, uh, it's a, not quite as far ahead, but this is at 25 frames per second, so it doesn't, it's not going to line up with the other two videos. So you can see the top two lined up very well. So I'll keep going forward. I'll just play this for a bit. Okay, so now I put them all side by side. And it's really clear here, there's a big difference between the HDMI to USB, the GoPro, and the HD Game Capture on color. So I'm not sure why this is because from what I understand, HDMI is digital, but the, maybe the H.264 uh, processing is doing something to this here, but this HDMI to USB a file came from the GoPro because it was from the GoPro's output. I'm not sure how it got that way. And if you remember, the GoPro and the HD Game Capture were lined up pretty good at the beginning, but you can see the seam here. It's not quite lined up, but if you look at the sky, the color is nearly identical. You see a huge difference here on the left. I'll go forward a little bit more. Same, uh, there's this, you know, the lines between the two. Over here some more. And now I put it back on this. So I'll forward here. A few minutes. Let's see if I can find uh, something. So we have that speed limit sign. So I'll go forward frame by frame. We'll see when that hits the edge of the screen. Okay, so they're all kind of lined up right now. Uh, the bottom one looks a little further ahead. If I go one more frame forward, it's almost out of the picture on the bottom. One more frame here, the bottom doesn't change. I'll go again, the bottom's out of the picture. The one on the left is not quite as close as the one on the right. I'll do that, it's cutting off the one on the right. Now the one on the right's gone and the one on the left is still there. So they all got out of sync. So I would assume the GoPro video is technically right because it's the master, but um, you know they don't line up perfectly. 
So I'll go forward a little bit more here. Let's see if anything else shows up. Okay, here's a sign at the top. Go frame by frame. So it looks like the game capture is slightly ahead of the GoPro. And then on the bottom, the HDMI to USB is, eh, it looks like two frames behind. So, and I would line up certain parts of the video and then other parts would become out of alignment. So at the beginning, it seems like I could have lined it up a little bit better, but uh, they're just not perfectly in sync. Okay, so I'll go to the end of this video now. Okay, it's coming up. Okay, so I'll go forward frames. And I, I cut these off myself because there was uh, stuff at the very end, but they didn't line up right. So actually I'll escape out of here and we could look at Final Cut Pro here. Let's see if there's a landmark. We can maybe, I think I cut out before that sign. Let me back up just a little. Okay, so we have the green sign there. So the bottom one is almost touching the green sign and these are about the same distance apart. So the GoPro and the Game Capture HD are more or less in sync with each other. I mean, they're very, very close. The bottom one is not quite. So I'll be playing around with this a little more to maybe try and get this up to 60 frames per second. But this HDMI to USB adapter is supposed to do 60 frames per second. And let me go back to notes here. And I have this other note. And this is from FFmpeg and you can have it display all the modes on here. And you can see it's like 640 by 480 at 60 frames per second. And if you go down here to 1080p, let me search for that so it highlights it. Okay, so this is the whole section of 1080p. We have 30 frames per second, 25, 20, 10, and 5. There's no 60 frames per second. And this is using AV Foundation. It's part of like Apple's uh, library or code to capture webcam video. And it may not support 60 frames per second. I don't really know. I guess I could check with another camera and see if it has it. Or it may not with this camera. So I'll probably check this on maybe Linux or Windows and see if it has 60 frames per second on it. But it doesn't look like I can capture more than 60 frames per second on a Mac. But who knows? So the question is, should you buy the HDMI? to USB adapter over the Game Capture HD. And that's a choice you'll have to make. I would say if you're making money with capturing uh, HDMI video, the Game Capture might be the better option because it's slightly more accurate. If you're just doing this for fun as a hobby and you don't want to put a lot of money into it, then you might go with the HDMI to USB adapter. So I'll add in all this video when I close this video out, I'll just add it in raw so you can look at it. But if you have any questions in the meantime, and if there's anything you want me to test this on, you know, uh, drop a comment below. If you like this video, please click like, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.
GoPro, stop recording.